80 years of wedding dresses. With World War II came a lot of variation. You might just wear a suit or borrow a friend's satin dress. However, Dior's new look in 1947 popularized fuller skirts toward the end of the decade, which lead us to the 50s where the biggest poofiest skirts possible were all the rage and sleeves started to slowly disappear. In the 60s, we have some brides who move away from traditional attire with colorful or short dresses, while others opt for more church-appropriate like this one. In the 70s, we have medieval and renaissance revival, which lead to cool little details like velvet, and in this case, a lot of awesome capes. While in the 80s, we opt for more big, fun sleeves, poofs, satin, and as always, major bows and tool action. Uh, this does carry over into the 90s, especially with sleeves, but the silhouettes become a little more princessy and eventually calm down to the 2000s, which tend to be simpler and feature a lot of appliques, lace, and in this case, little off-the-shoulder details. And then in the 2010s, we see more and more people opting for a reception dress that they can damn